Precious Charlie and baby Ella. Yes, aunties and uncles, baby Ella decided that she would pop up here and say hello to all of you because it's been um, quite a while since you've seen her. Except of my Saturday video, but that was not really about Ella. So, yes, she's here and I need to change this one, this little one. So, um, we're here today and there's been quite a few things that I wanted to talk to you about ladies this week but uh, since it's my lunch break and it's not extremely long I will have to talk about one thing today and that would be my doll bag because I've received few messages how I travel with my babies because I keep mentioning that we take or I take my dolls with me when we go out of town and I do, I, I took them, actually this weekend was the third time I took my dolls. Uh, this weekend I took Lulu. Before that was the uh, very first time I took uh, the baby out with us for a road trip. That was Ella when I got her as a part of my bonding, bonding process. And then I took Ella and Misha to Florida past Christmas. And now uh, Lulu. And I didn't have any doll bag or any traveling bag or specific, you know, like bag um, meant for that purpose. And I've seen so many beautiful design bags online on, 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 in a community, you know, Ivan, my little tulip has one and Life with Crystal, she has one. And now I saw Linda from uh, Babies in a Garden, she got beautiful bag from Susan Dizon, you know, but unfortunately right now um, it's kind of pricey for me um, to buy it. So I was thinking uh, and I was kind of like, you know, I was pondering how to, you know, um, which bag or should I have the bag or no and, you know, because I, <laughs> when I took Ella and Misha with us to Florida, I had them in my Ikea bag because I, I carried both of them in there. And it was kind of, you know, it was okay. I mean, I, I don't take my dolls out a lot and when I take them, I use car seat for realism purposes. I don't use bags. So I really wanted the bag just for when we go out of town, not for um, my outings. So I thought, okay, I, as much as I love Susan, Susan Dizon's um, bags, they're kind of like out of my price range right now. So I was pondering and pondering and, you know, just browsing. And I had some ideas in my head that I wanted to, re, you know, to put into use. But I, I, I first of all, ladies, I, I don't know how, I, I know how to sew and I have sewing machine. Um but I'm not very skillful and I don't have uh, anybody to guide me here. My mom, she's great um, with a sewing machine and everything, but she lives in Europe. So I, and I don't have anybody else here who would guide me and who would help me. So I thought, okay, uh, sewing the back together, it's kind of a complicated process for me as a beginner. And so, the, uh, I, you know, every time I go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Burlington, I, I browse their weekender bags because you can buy a really nice weekender bag for a really affordable price. And I would do that if I didn't find a perfect bag for, my, for me and for my channel. And um, so let me start from the beginning, ladies. I've been the fan 
of um, this print from Nancy Lee Moran, which is an artist and illustrator. I've been the fan of her work for seven years now, I think, if not more. And I had few, I have few pieces of her work in prints. And um, if you go to my channel, to the home, you will see the channel art on top, you know, when you have icon, when you have uh, the picture of your babies or your channel picture. And then you have channel art and those blue little cartoon figures and those little uh, blue cute, you know, th that print, that's actually Nancy Lee Moran's print. And it's uh, Toil de Jouy, Joy, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I love that print. I have a little cosmetic bag in that print. So when I was choosing my channel art last year, when I started my channel, I chose that one because that's, uh, I would call it my signature print. I haven't seen it any, uh, anywhere on YouTube. Um, none of the mommies uses it. So I don't think it's, um, very well known, which I like, <laughs> to be honest, because, you know, I like unique things. So that's my, that's my signature print for my channel. And, uh, you know, it didn't cross my mind actually to look for more pieces to kind of piece my channel together. But as a big supporter of artists and uh, painters and sculptors, and graphic art. I'm, um, I've been a member of Fine Arts America for, well, since uh, 2009, so that would be eight years now. I purchased quite few things from them uh, for my house, few prints, and, <clears throat> pardon me, and as gifts for my friends. Uh, so, I was just browsing their website and suddenly Nancy Lee Moran's prints popped over there. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's my print. That's my favorite artist. So I was browsing and fineartsamerica.com, they have their website. And uh, as I said, they support uh, all artists, not only painters and sculptors, but also the graphic art and, you know, all type of art. So, and you can buy the prints, you can buy canvases, you can buy, um, a lot of lot of um, like household items and uh, one of these items are bags so ladies I was really lucky enough and I scored my doll bag actually ladies I want to show you my doll bag let me move Ella here for the second because I want to change her later but I just wanted to show you my doll bag and this is Nancy Lee Moran Print, my signature print. I have it. I've been. I've had it on my channel as a channel art for a year now. I have a uh, few more items in this print, and I purchased this weekender bag. And I decided that I would make this weekender bag into <laughs> my doll bag. And I think it's cute. You know, it's unique. It's um. It's connected directly to my channel and my channel art. So it kind of ties everything together and I think it's adorable. You know, it's white and blue, my favorite color combination. And you have all these precious characters, which I love. This bag, you can, um, they have, of course, a lot of, lot of prints over there. This bag is 26 inches long and height is I think 16 inches so it's pretty spacey uh I had Lulu with us in Wisconsin uh, okay yeah I just said it in Wisconsin when, when we went for a weekend um uh, and she fit in there in her blankie plus under her I had her clothes packed so you know it's not the the most stylish thing you know to have the doll and uh clothes packed together but you know it she fit uh, and instead of ju just having uh, all these smaller bags stashed in my luggage uh I have everything in one bag so let me demonstrate here here's um look my task I fit there well and also look this is Ella and she fits in there nicely too 
I have a little blankie there over there right now. I, I do have a small pillow, which I will use. I, I was unpacking the bag, so I just, you know, I just wanted to show you and demonstrate the bag for you really quickly here. So this is this is how I um, solved the problem of uh, traveling and the doll bags. And we just missed your hair else. So that's, that's my bag, ladies. Nothing fancy, but it's, uh, it's unique and it's my print. So I'm really, I'm really actually happy about this little bag and, you know, um, it's spacey and also I can use it for other purposes, not only doll related, even though I do plan to keep it as a doll bag. And it, it's, um, I forgot to say that this is nice and sturdy canvas material and it is lined inside. So I, I really like it. Maybe I, I may be careful about putting her around on the floor because it is white, but it is washable. So the only thing that I will probably add to this bag is some kind of closure, maybe a snap. Uh, I don't think it, I will add zipper. <laughs> I'm not that skillful, but I can, I know how to add a snap, so I, I may add the snap so the back closes properly. Okay, so that's my little Whispering Daydream Nancy Lee Moran bag. Now I want to change little Ella here really fast, ladies, uh, because I still need to grab something to eat. Let me hold this. And I was really in a mood for, let me, let me check if you can see her, oh my goodness. Okay, can I have your little teddy? Hi, Charlie. <laughs> can you look after teddy for me, Charlie? Because you're my mama's little helper. And Ella is still wearing her outfit from last week's meetup with Nina here in Chicago. I love Reborn19 on Instagram. So I thought, okay, it's cute and, and everything, but it's time to change this thing. Hopefully you can see her, oh my goodness. I so need a changing table, ladies, but I'm, I, I'm just not going to get one right now because I just don't have space for it. I still haven't put my round bassinet together, which is a shame, but it's, we've been still um, organizing. Mike is finishing, thanks goodness, because it's been driving me nuts. So as soon as he finishes, I want to scrub the house down and put the bassinet together and just enjoy it. I don't want to put it together in the middle of this craziness here. And uh, the outfit I'm going to put on her is zero to three. So it may be a little bit big. It's this little It's just comfy because I want to cuddle her. This little uh, birdie outfit, it's white and mint green, one of my favorite uh, combinations. So I just grabbed it because I'm getting ready for my sale and there's baby clothes everywhere. I couldn't find a uh, easy breezy set in newborn size, in all that mess. So I just grabbed this. And she is a true newborn size. She's as me, sculpted by Laura Lee Eagles for my new viewers or new ladies in a hobby who are not familiar with sculpts or all sculpts, which I'm not either. So, and she is a true newborn size. She's 19 inches. 
and this scalp originally came with a vinyl torso which I took off. I still have it, I, I didn't cut it or destroyed it in any other way. I just slipped the body out through neck opening. So I still have the vinyl torso for, you know, as a collector, of course, she's a complete kit, comes with vinyl torso, so I'm keeping the torso, but otherwise I'm uh, not using it because uh, it, it bothers me. It's not stiff, stiff, it's kind of, she almost, it almost has a silicone kind of feeling, especially belly, it's very squishy actually, which was really surprising to me. But I still, I don't know, I like them to be just cuddly and, and soft, the babies and... Well, of course, it's a question of a personal preference. We all have our preferences. I've seen the ladies that, who actually love that torso because they love to take the pictures of little belly buttons. So they, they are keeping the torso and they, they love it, so, you know each to their own, as they say. I kept the torso off of both of my Esmes because Ella is my second Esme. And this little set came with little birdie bib aunties. So, so I'm, I'm finally using the props and I've never, I, I don't think you, that you ever seen any of my babies with little bib. So there it comes, ladies. Here's your little niece in her adorable set. What is this little, little thing? Okay. There. Okay. So you can have the teddy back. Okay, ladies, so that's it for today. Here's Ella looking all cute and cozy. I wish you all are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. It's gloomy and I think it's going to rain here. So I better hurry up. I need to take some of building materials out of the driveway. Um, they're not huge, so I can carry them. You know, I don't want you to think that I'm dragging some four by fours, you know, or anything like that. But just, you know, a few cans of uh, spray paint and some, you know, some uh, hammers and some small tool, tools. So I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to grab something to eat. And uh, me and Charlie are going to run a few more errands here. I hope, uh, ladies, again, that everybody's uh, having fun out there. If you're not having fun, just, ladies, survive the work day. I know, you know how it goes. I know, I feel your pain. So um, take care, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. And thank you so much for watching, ladies. We love you all. Bye.